Hello, this is Natasha from YMO Homeschool. Today I'm going to do a flip through of Saxon Math K, the Home Study Teacher's Edition. Now, what you want to know about Saxon Math K is you would actually need a meeting book that comes with this. I do not have that. You also need manipulatives. Now, you can buy a Saxon Math K manipulative kit. It actually covers all the manipulatives you need in K through 3. However, I've pieced the manipulatives together on my own from the thrift store, and so you could also do that. But let me show you what this is like. Um, I will also say that there is no separate workbook for the student. The only workbook that there really is is the meeting book, which is basically a calendar book. Lots of people skip that. Um, but I will show you in here that there are pages that you um, can copy um, when it instructs you to. But Saxon Math K is pr uh, primarily done with manipulatives. So you, you do need the manipulatives for this program. So let me show you the table of contents. You'll see that they start off super easy, exploring pattern blocks. You get into counting to 10 acting out story problems and patterns, pictographs, more patterns, bar graphs, ordering numbers zero to 10. And then around lesson 38, it starts talking about pennies, uh, matching a number card to a set of objects. So the one-to-one -one correspondence there. Um, so they'll be counting to 10 using pennies more patterns, more pictographs, ordinal numbers, counting by tens. You're going to be introduced to dimes and nickels in this program. So you're going to be learning skip counting in the kindergarten. You'll be using geo boards, comparing numbers. Here's the nickels, using tanagrams. Now what you'll notice here is that there is no addition or subtraction. It is very basic. However, this program sets them up well by having them already learning skip counting and different things, um, but it's not going to be covering your math facts. Um, I, I shouldn't say there's no addition and subtraction, but it's not how you traditionally might um, think of a um, workbook with you know one plus three on it. Okay, so it, but it's introducing concepts through manipulatives. All right, and then we have a list of materials here that you'll need. This is quite extensive. Most of these materials are your um, manipulatives that come in the manip manip manipulative kit, and then oral recording forms and things like that that are in here. These lessons are scripted in the gray box. It tells you exactly what materials you'll need and what you need to do to prepare. And then it goes into the meeting. This is what you need the meeting book for. Even if you don't get the meeting book, I recommend doing the meeting because so many of the concepts are introduced during the meeting. So even, even if you printed out your own calendar and thing, things like that, that would be fine. But definitely do this meeting work. Okay, and then you get into the lesson. And the black and bold is what you say, and the non-bold part is what you do. So say, do, say, do, that sort of thing. Okay, lesson two goes exactly the same way. Lesson preparation, materials you need, again, the meeting. So this covers, you know, days of the week, today's date. Um, when you start skip counting, it will cover things like that. And then the lesson, exploring pattern blocks. So notice, no worksheet. Lesson three, same exact thing. So now let me skip to about the middle of the book. Well, that's not quite. Okay, we'll go to lesson 74. Again, lesson preparation, the materials you need, what you should be uh, preparing, and then the meeting. So now notice the meeting is a little more involved. What month is it? Let's spell the word March. Where else do you see March on this page? What sound do we make for M? Let's count to check. The meeting keeps going, okay? In the meeting book, they'll also work on patterns um, on the calendar. The meeting is still going, okay? See, um, counting by tens. 
So I wouldn't skip the meeting completely, even if you chose not to buy the meeting book. Although it's pretty handy to have it exactly as you need it. So I would personally recommend buying the meeting book. Okay. And then uh, finally we get to the lesson, ordering four objects by length. So they're just ordering the objects, no worksheets. Okay, let's see. See, those meetings get long. Okay, now let's skip to one of the, oops, one of the end lessons. We have lesson 106 here, 10th lesson in May. Again, lesson preparation, the meeting, what year is it? Patterns again. They're learning to write numbers through the meeting. Okay. And then the lesson dividing a shape in half, ordering shapes by size. So this lesson goes on quite a bit. Okay, now that shows you the what the lessons are formatted like. Okay, so we have 112 lessons total. And then we have the oral assessment recording forms. Um, on these lessons, like lesson 27, oral assessment one. Let's flip, flip back to lesson 27 and they'll show you that it shows you to do that oral assessment. So there's no guesswork, you know exactly when to do it. Okay, so here it tells us we need the oral assessment recording form. and then the assessment. So that day does not have a lesson, it just has the meeting and the assessment. Let me go back to that. So this is a place for you to record their progress throughout the year. Again, tells you the materials you need for the oral assessments. So actually, let's go through this a little more deeply so you can see what things they'll be learning. They'll be learning, um, obviously, colors and shapes, Numbers, zero through 10, sorting, identifying the numbers zero to 10 and sequencing the numbers zero to 10, copying and extending patterns, identifying ordinal position, creating a real graph. And you'll see, it tells you if you need one of those masters in here. Counting by ones, acting out addition and subtraction stories. This is what I was talking about where there's not necessarily you know, fact practice worksheets, but they are introducing these concepts so that when they're done with this, they're ready to go into Saxon Math 1. Comparing and measuring length, copying geoboard designs, covering designs using tanagrams, naming the days of the week, counting by tens to 100, and identifying the penny, the nickel, and the dime. So those are all the concepts they will be learning. And then it has these masters that you can copy. It'll tell you exactly when to use them. All those okay lots of masters in here and here is something too optional handwriting master use after lesson 48 so practicing working on writing the numbers so you'll see those keep going have a clock. So um, I personally like this math program as a pre-k program and I know a lot of different schools use it as a pre-k program as well. It's very gentle, it's manipulative based. Um, so I would say a pre-k student or a kindergarten student who's maybe not ready for quite so much writing, this is a really good option. But 
um, I think it's really suitable for a pre-K program. But keep in mind that as you go through the levels, it obviously gets more intense. Um, for example, in Saxon Math 3, which I will be doing a flip through of, they're not only doing you know, multiplication and division, but they're doing exponents, order of operation, all of that. All of that. So uh, um, it, it goes quickly once you hit levels uh, 1, 2, and 3. But Saxon Math K is very, very gentle. But I do recommend doing those meetings because that sets them up for success for these concepts that will be coming. And that's the purpose of those meetings. So anyway, um, you can buy this on any retailer's you know, website like Christian Book or uh, Rainbow Resource or anything like that. And actually comes in a package with the teacher book and the meeting book. Um, but if you buy it used, um, you can usually find these very cheap used. So on eBay and things like that. And um, then you can just buy the meeting book new. And then um, the manipulatives. Again, you'll need things like counting bears, tanagrams, things like that, um, that you can really pick up from Goodwill. That's what I've done. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching.